the CoComposer Studio Integrated Development Environment for Texas Instruments Embedded Processors is available without a license fee or code size limit. Simply download it and get started. When running CoComposer Studio for the first time, it will prompt for a workspace. A workspace is simply a folder on your computer that is the default location to store projects and preferences. Once you have selected your workspace location, the next thing you will see is the Getting Started view. This view provides access to common tasks such as browsing examples with Resource Explorer, creating new projects, or accessing the TI-E2E online support community. If you are using a TI microcontroller or a millimeter wave device, you will want to start by accessing Resource Explorer. This can be done by clicking on the button here in the Getting Started view or by going to the View menu. Resource Explorer will display the latest software, documentation, and tools. It will show both content that you have installed locally on your computer, as well as content that is available in the cloud for download. As you can see, there's a wide selection of software and resources available. It is recommended to select the development board or device you are working with to filter the content. If you have a valid TI kit, such as a Launchpad development kit, connected to your computer, Resource Explorer may be able to auto-detect it. I will connect a CC1312 Launchpad to the computer to demonstrate. If auto-detect is successful, you can select the Use My Board option to specify your kit. Once a board selection is made, Resource Explorer will filter the content to only that which is relevant to the selection. For most devices, there is a software development kit available, such as a SimpleLink SDK, MSP430 Ware, or C2000 Ware. For CC1312, this is the Simple Link SDK. By browsing through the SDK, it shows all of the documentation and example applications that are part of the package. When an example is selected, the README file will be displayed. This file summarizes the purpose of the example, the features used, as well as settings that may need to be applied to the development board. Some examples come with a selection of variations for different compiler and RTOS options. It is possible to view the source files that are part of an example, directly in Resource Explorer. Simply select them and they will be displayed. You can do this even if you have not downloaded the software package. When you find an example that you wish to use, you can import it into Code Composer Studio. To be able to import an example, the software package it is part of needs to be installed. Here, an arrow indicates that this package is locally installed. If you attempt to import an example where the software package is not present, it will prompt you to download and install the package. To proceed with the import, simply click on the Import to IDE button. After the project has been imported, it will be present in Project Explorer. In this case, you will notice that there is a second project that was also imported and added to the workspace. The second project includes the RTOS configuration. For some examples, this is directly part of the main example project. 
For others, like this one, it is a separate project that can be shared across examples. Note that in Code Composer Studio, projects are folder-based. If you copy a file into your project folder on your computer, it will automatically be considered part of the project. When using Project Explorer to add files to a project, there are two options. A file can be added to the project, in which case it is physically copied into the project folder, or the file can be linked to the project. For a linked file, the file is left in its original location and the project will have a reference to the file. Linked files will also have a small arrow indicator on the icon in Project Explorer. Inside the project, you will see a number of different files and folders. The Includes folder contains all of the compiler search paths that have been specified in the project options. The Target Configs folder will be present if a debug probe selection is present in the project. Inside this folder will be a target configuration file with the extension ccxml. The target configuration file contains the information necessary to establish a debug connection to the device, including the debug probe used, and the device connected to it. The source files that are part of the project are shown, including the linker command file with the extension cmd, if using a TI compiler, or LDS if using GCC. The linker command file specifies the device memory map so that the linker knows how to place your program and data in the memory on the device. To build the project, click on the Build button in the main toolbar. If your project is using an RTOS, the first time you build, the RTOS will also have to be built, and this will take extra time. Once the project is built, any errors or warnings will be shown in the Problems view. We can now go ahead and launch the debugger. You can do this by clicking on the Debug button. This will actually check to see if the project needs to be built, and build it if necessary. Launch the debugger, connect to the device, load the program, and run to main. When the debugger is launched, Code Composer Studio switches from the Edit perspective to the Debug perspective. A perspective is an arrangement of views, menu items, and toolbar buttons. Default perspectives are provided for editing and debugging. The Edit perspective is tailored for writing code and building projects. By contrast, the Debug perspective focuses on showing the information necessary for debugging applications. The toolbar shows the current perspective and provides buttons for switching to the other perspectives. One of the most important views in the debug perspective is the debug view. The debug view displays the active debug session as well as the call stack. Selecting an item in the debug view, such as an entry in the call stack, or in the case of a multi-core device, selecting a core, will change the context of the views into perspectives such as the Expressions view, Register view, and Memory Browser. On the main toolbar, there are a selection of buttons used to control your debug session. The Connect button will connect or disconnect from the device. There are buttons to run the program, halt or suspend the program, you can terminate the debug session and return to the edit perspective, step the application, reset the device, or you can reset the program to the entry location. By default, only a small number of views are open in a perspective. Additional views can be accessed from the View menu. Here, I will open the Breakpoints view. The Breakpoints view will show any breakpoints that are part of this debug session.
Note that views are open on a per-perspective basis. I have opened the breakpoint view in my debug perspective. When I terminate the debug session and return to the edit perspective, you'll notice that the breakpoints view is not open there. If you have questions on how to use CoComposer Studio, there are a number of resources available. Many of these are conveniently listed in Resource Explorer. Simply go to the Development Tools section, Integrate Development Environments, and then Code Composer Studio. Here, you can find a user's guide with more detailed information, as well as a wide selection of videos and tutorials. If you are unable to find what you are looking for, there is a link to the E2E Online Technical Support Community in the Getting Started view. This link is also present in the Help menu. Thank you for choosing TI for your embedded design.